So next to create the rectangle. Now it's the fifth tool down in the tools panel, probably buried underneath one of the other shape tools that we've used recently. And then when you click and hold down there, of course, from the pop out list, you'll find at the top there, the rectangle tool. You can also reach it by tapping the M key. Now, when we make one of those shape tools active, you will notice that on the far right hand side of the screen, the properties panel does spring to life and it shows us fill and stroke colors in there. And at the moment, it's still set to what we had for the triangles. I'm going to leave them as they are first. Let's create the shape and then we'll change the colors afterwards. But you could do it either way if you wish. You could create the color first. So now that I've got my cursor visible on screen, I'm going to hover the target for the rectangle tool over the bottom left corner of the pencil sketch. And then I'm going to click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag to the right and then upwards. And you'll notice that adjacent to my cursor is a widget that tells me the current width and height. And we want to get that to be approximately 10 millimeters by 60 millimeters in there. Now it doesn't matter if it's not exactly right. As long as it's roughly right, that's absolutely fine. Once you let go of the mouse, then the only way to change the size of that would be to switch to the selection tool. And then it keeps the object selected and you can drag the handles or you could go over to the properties panel and change the width and height from there. Now that we've got the object created, the next step will be to add a color. 